So what I want to do now is I want to give you some some tips, okay, some pro tips here about filming your video and um, some things to avoid. All right, so let me play just a little bit of the video. Tell us your name and tell us about your project. My name is Edward Mordley and I was involved in what is known as the Michelson Morley experiment. All right, so let's just jump on some things right away. First of all, when we look at the picture, we have to ask ourselves, what are we looking at here? All right, w what is this? Because most of what I'm looking at is not the person, okay? So make sure there's a good picture of you. Make sure that that good picture of you is in focus. So we can see this poor guy here, which you may recognize, this poor guy here uh, is not even in focus, all right? Um, so make sure it's looking at you, make sure it's in focus, make sure there's not a really bright light source behind you. You can see how difficult that makes it to look at. Um, all the time, people will have some kind of bright lamp behind them, or they'll have a window right behind them, uh, and it just makes the video very difficult to see and, and very difficult to watch. Okay, now the other thing here before we move on to the serious problem is, is the sound quality. All right, now I don't expect this to have perfect sound, nothing, not at all, not at all. Okay, if you film this on your iPhone or your Android, whatever, your computer, it's fine. Okay, um, but make sure that you are loud enough that you come across clearly, okay? So the volume when, uh, in, in this sort of bad video is too quiet, okay? So do a practice video, record part of your interview, and make sure that you're in focus, that you're in the shot good, that you don't have crazy lighting, and that you can hear yourself, okay? Now let me play just a little bit more, and I'll get to the, uh, the only cardinal sin here. What were you guys trying to do or find? The goal was to prove that ether was a medium that swirled around the earth and was what light traveled through to reach us. Okay, that's good enough. Do not read straight off of your screen. Okay, if you're out of focus, if you have bad lighting, if you have bad sound, if you don't have a good framing of your face, those are all forgivable. That's a style thing, okay? But the point of this exercise, you, you need in your head to realize that this is a substitute for a 10-page term paper, okay? This is a substitute for a 10-page term paper. And so... You need to know the person that you've researched, okay? You need to know how they would answer things, what they would say, not necessarily how they would say them, but you need to know as much as you can about their life, about their work, what their work meant to them, and the way you show that you have produced that level of research and that level of work is that someone can ask you a question and you can just tell them straight away. You can look right into the, into the camera and say, my name is Michael Morley and I was a, an important part of the Michelson Morley experiment. What were you trying to find? Well, our work centered on trying to understand this crazy thing called the ether. And we believed that the earth went through the ether and then there was an ether wind and we were trying to understand that. Okay. So if you can do that, that demonstrates the depth of your research and how much you've learned about this person. Okay. So we've got five sins here. The first ones, focus, framing, lighting, sound, those are all stylistic, okay? That's not going to hurt you great, I promise. 
The one that will hurt you grade is if you read straight off the screen. Don't do that. Okay? That's a cardinal sin.